This video will show you how to comment on, watch and vote on issues in the Moodle Tracker. First of all, commenting. Let's imagine, for example, that you've seen a link to a tracker issue in a Moodle forum that directly affects you, or perhaps you've searched the tracker and you found an issue that affects you, and you want to make a comment to give some extra information. You first of all need to be logged in. And then, if you scroll down the page where the issue is, past the affected versions and the components and the description, you may find that some other people have already commented, but if you go to the bottom and then click the comment button, you can add your opinion or your extra information in there. All you need to do then is click add to add your comment and you'll automatically get emails if anyone else comments. Watch. You might not want to comment on an issue, but you might want to keep an eye on it if it affects you to see how progress is being made. So for this we look in the right hand side where it says people. You see where it says watch there are numbers. Those are the numbers of the people who are watching and if you click the number you could see who they were. For you to be added to the watch list you just need to click where it says watch. Voting. You might want to vote on an issue. If a lot of people vote on it, sometimes, but not always, it might get fixed more quickly and it will certainly alert to the developers to the fact that it's a very popular or considered important issue. Again, the number in brackets next to vote is the number of people who voted on it already and if you click the number, you can see who the people are. If you now click where it says vote, the number will change to reflect the fact that you've now voted and you'll see that you've got a thumbs up to show that you've voted. If you change your mind you just need to click again and your vote will be removed.